Welcome back, folks. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a holographic text effect. And by the end of this video, I'm going to ask you to choose which design you like best. I'm going to head on over to my text. I'm placing some text on my workspace. In here, I'm going to type hero. For the font, I'm going to go into my font chooser, and I'm going to choose a font called Asena. Now, Asena has glyphs attached to some of its letters, its capital letters. So here, because I have the letter H capitalized, we see these fancy strokes on the letter, on the top of the letter and on the bottom of the letter. Now, I can definitely take the O and make that a capital O, but instead, I'm going to leave it as a lowercase o, and I'm going to download this text because I want to convert it to an image. So I'm just place that in the center. I'll come to share. I'm going to download this design, and I'm going to download it as transparent. I'll create another page. And I'll bring that design back into my workspace. I'm going to make a duplicate of this and I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to crop the flipped image. And I'm going to place it right on top of the O like that. That way it's kind of matching with the H on the bottom. I'm going to grab the both of them going to make them a little bit larger like that. And I'm going to grab a guide just to make sure that those two ends are kind of even. So let me get rid of that. I'm now going to grab a rectangle. So I'll press R to place a rectangle on my workspace. Actually, it's a square, but I'm going to turn it into a rectangle. And I'm going to go to position and layers. And I'm going to drag that gray rectangle behind my word hero. I'm going to make it just slightly bigger like that. And I'm going to grab my main text and I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to duotone. I'm going to choose the custom option and I'm going to change the text to white. I'm also going to change the highlights. To white as well. So I change the shadows and the highlights to white. I'm going to select the copy style and I'm going to do the same to the smaller image which I copied. I'm going to go to position and layers. I'm going to grab that rectangle and I'm going to change the color of that rectangle to black. I'm going to come back to share and I'm going to download this because I now want to create an overlay. I only want page two and I don't want transparent and I'm going to select download. I'm going to add another page and bring that design back into my workspace. Here it is. Once it's finished uploading, I'm going to come to BG remover and I'm going to remove the background. If we go back in, we'll see that the background's been removed. I'm now going to grab some holographic background. So I'm going to go to elements and you can see that I've kind of gone through and tried to pick some holographic elements. This is the one that I want to use. Now, if you're searching for this one, what you would be searching for is holographic foil background with ethereal fluid swirls. So, and the keywords are holographic foil background vector hologram. Okay. I'm going to grab this and I am going to rotate it because I want those lines to be going downward. I'm just going to reduce my page size and I'm going to place this holographic background on my workspace. I'm going to make a copy of this and I'll place it there. And I'm going to grab the both of them and I'm going to make them a little bit larger just to stretch them through to the end of the word. 
I'm going to go to position and layers. I'm going to grab that overlay and bring it right to the top. Here it is right here. Now, one thing you want to avoid is your background uh, ending in the middle of a letter. So here we can see I've got one layer ending and another one beginning, and we don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to crop it a little bit. I'm going to grab the second image and I'm just going to resize it to fit the E. That way we don't see any breaks in that background. I'm going to reduce the size and I'm going to grab everything on my page. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And I'm going to grab that overlay. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go back to duotone because I want to make it white. So I'm going to go to custom. And again, I'm going to change the highlights and the shadows of that overlay to white. I'm going to download this design one more time. So I'll go to share. I'll go to download and I only want page three. I'll create another page. I'm going to grab this design now and I'm going to remove the background. That will make it totally transparent because if I click the background and I make it gray, we can see that there's this white box around it and I want it this word hero totally transparent. So I'm going to grab that word. I'm going to go to background remover and I'm going to remove the background. So here we are right now. We've isolated the word hero, and it is a little bit difficult to read. And here is where I'm asking you to choose which design you like better. I'm going to take this design and I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to add an outline. Now I know that's a little bit too thick. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller like that. So it's got a little bit of a black outline. Now you can make that outline any color that you like. You can make it black, white, you can make it purple. It doesn't matter. I'm now going to actually go one step further and add a shadow. And my question is, do you like it with that black outline or do you prefer it without an outline? So let me add that outline again. I'm going to make a duplicate of this and I'm going to layer it right on top. I'm now going to change that outline of that top image to a drop shadow. And I'm going to go to position and layers, and I'm going to move that shadow in behind my main image. So here it is right here. And whenever you're adding a shadow, it is going to resize your design. So you do need to kind of adjust to make them fit one on top of another. So here we have the main image, which is a holographic hero text with a little bit of a shadow behind it. So let me take a copy of this. And I'm going to take that top image. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to remove that outline. So I'm going to say none. So now we do not have an outline on it. All we have is the shadow. So which one do you like better? This design without a border or do you like this design better? Let me know down in the comments which design you like better and Please, one favor to ask you that if you learned anything in this tutorial, press the like button, subscribe, and turn your notification bells on. A reminder that my live classes are starting again in September, and you'll get to design with me, ask questions, and you'll learn so much. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.